Okay, first of all, what did you draw? Rock Pilk. Obviously, a uh, little history. It doesn't matter the pizza or anytime. You guys always play a good game of Rock Pilk. I think, uh, yeah, this is a great matchup. I mean, uh, from a fan's perspective, it's a great matchup. Let me put it that way. I think uh, in the last two years, we've played three times, and each game has come down to the last possession. So I think it looks to be a pretty exciting matchup, even going beyond uh, when I became the head coach here. I think the last six matchups have all come down to about one point, one or two points. So it's a pretty good rivalry right now, so I look for it to be a pretty good game. Obviously, you want to make it to the title, you want to win, but talk about your bracket's certainly loaded a little bit. Yeah, there's some definitely some great teams in that bracket. If you're lucky enough to get by Rockville, you know, the group right above you has the defending champs in it and Sullivan, and then the group right above them has you know, North and South, who are the two biggest schools in the tournament. So I think anyone on that side of the bracket in the bottom half of the bracket is just going to have to play a week of great basketball uh, to get to the championship. And it's going to be very deserving, whoever makes it to that game, because they, they got a tough road ahead of them. No secret about your team, a guard-oriented a little bit. Uh, that's what it looks like right now, but I still think we're a work in progress. You never know what could happen. Uh, I thought we did some nice things on our opening night, but I think we still have a lot of things we need to work on. Uh, hopefully we can get some kinks worked out before we get to Christmas. Talk about your team a little bit. Just I know you're still a work in progress, but what should people expect to see from the Vikings? Well, I think we have a history of just being very uh, energetic, playing extremely hard, getting up and down the floor, and I, and I think that's another characteristic of our team this year. Uh, right now we're kind of struggling, executing some things a little bit, but I think, you know, over the weeks, you know, again, we talk about working to get a little bit better, and those are some things that we're working on right now, uh, execution-wise, uh, battling a little bit more than what we've done up to this point. So hopefully we can get some things worked out. We finished fourth last year. Just how, how nice would it be? I mean, to have another run to give the team some confidence heading into the second part of the season. Oh, it would be great. Uh, but I just think it's such a great tournament. I think our main goal is we would just like to be able to play four games. I think we want to be able to play every day. Uh, only one team is going to come out of this tournament undefeated. You have to keep that in perspective a little bit. So we're going to have to play some great basketball for a few days. Uh, but we just want to be able to come in, play the best we possibly can, and hopefully we'll be able to play at least for four days. We're talking about some of the best players in the tournament. Obviously, you have two pretty good guards in Scott West and Jordan Hauser. Just individually talk about their game. Uh, Scotty has been around for, you know, he's been starting for me since I came on board three years ago. Uh, an extremely hard worker. This is the first year where he has kind of not been a supporting role. He is more in the forefront this year. Uh, he struggled a little bit in our opening night, uh, but I just kind of had my fingers crossed and hope that was a fluke because he brings it every single night in practice. Uh, and I think, you know, him being back there, is really good for us. And then I thought Jordan Hauser has really worked extremely hard in this offseason, has, has improved tremendously. Uh, he's always had a load of talent, but I think now it's to the point where he's actually displaying some of it on the floor. And I think if people got a taste of it last Wednesday night, and hopefully, you know, I think maybe you can give some people a taste of it in this tournament. Hopefully. We'll keep our fingers crossed.